you know what? I do have one more thing that I discovered in this whole process of creating assets for the library. You guys want to see something cool? All right, how many of you know about the Colorize feature? Colorize was in Camtasia 8 as well, but if you click your Visual Properties tool here, you can actually add a color effect to things. Let's try to drop this on top of Ron, right? <laughs> if you wanted to. So you can do some stuff like that, and that's kind of interesting and whatnot. But here's kind of the thing. A lot of times it doesn't work all that well. We'll see why that worked pretty well on Ron in a second. But let's say, let's go to my Sparta image. Uh, it's yellow, right? So one might be tempted to think that, oh gosh, well I'll just use the colorize thingy and drop her on there and change this to blue instead of yellow. Doesn't work that way it's a little more complicated than that and that's because of the color spectrum that colorize can affect right so here I drop color on notice I tried to make it a lime green color nope doesn't work I'll try to make it pink not even close okay here's where it does work it works with items that are more in the grayscale area so here I have a moving background. I'll let it play for a second. Right, kind of nice background. I like it. It's gray. And here's another little tip for adding visual effects. And this only works in Camtasia 9. So let's say I'm working in my media bin here and all that good stuff. And instead of having to, you know, oh gosh, go all over here and do all this to get to visual properties, to add a visual effect, I mean. If you click on your item on the canvas, you can right click and add your visual effects right there, right on the canvas. Uh, so let's colorize and see that. That is lime green, baby. Oh, red. Pink. Okay, so anything that is of a gray scale changes colors with the colorize effect rather wonderfully or much, much better. And one thing that you can do that I'm actually doing is notice here. I've just created me a whole bunch of shapes in PowerPoint. I'm going to export these as images and use them as cool callouts, right? And you'll see some of these in some of the demo reels and stuff I put out pretty soon. But here's kind of the secret sauce is that for the fill color of these, the sweet spot that I've kind of found is this guy right here and I'll show you what that is in a second. So this color of gray, uh, more colors, is RGB 127, 127, 127. Okay, let's, so let's try this. Now I'm gonna right click on this, save as picture. I'll save it as picture I'll just call it test so I can find it. Save it as a PNG. Now let's go to Camtasia and go find that guy. There's test. Drop that guy in the timeline. Okay, so now I have a nice shape that I can use. Let's right click on it add visual effect, colorize, and now uh, instead of having to save out all kinds of colored objects, you know, I'd have to save a gray one. I have to change the fill to green to red and save out all these stupid images. Now I can save out assets and boom, change the color. So it's like changing the color on a regular callout, isn't it? The regular callout out. 
I can change the color to blue. Let's change my call out to the same blue and you really can't tell the difference. Boom! What do you think of that? That's pretty fun, huh? Pretty fun stuff.